So I just saw this on Reddit. It's a really nice one. Let's have a look. So here we have this little anime character, and she is waving at you, and she is trying to tell you that, hey, did you forget the plus C? If you did, no problem because she got it for us already. Have a look. For all the questions at the end, they all got a plus C ready for us, huh? Which is so nice, right? In fact, I thought about doing this for my students for the exams before by adding the plus C at the end. Uh, but truth to be told, I have never done them, done it for them. But who knows? Maybe one day. Anyways, though, right here, why don't we figure out the answers for these questions? They are just all reverse power rule questions. For the first one, we have the integral of two x minus one. Okay, here is x to the first power. I just have to add one to the power so we get two, and then divide it by the new power. So two divided by two is just one. So we have x squared. And when we have a you know constant, this is minus one. You can just multiply that by x. So you will get minus x. Hey, I didn't forget the plus c because the plus c is right here for us already. So the answer is x squared minus x in the box, and then outside we have the plus c. Okay, next one. Pay attention to the power. Add one to it. We get four divided by the new power. So we will have negative x to the fourth power. Next, this is two. So add one to the power. We get three. Divided by that, so we will have twelve x to the third. Lastly, this is the x to the first, so we will get two divided by the power. So that's minus thirty six x squared. Hey, don't worry about the plus c. Nice. Okay, now for number three, two x plus three. Let's do this in our head. We will get x squared plus three x. Done. Now for this one, number four. It's a little bit trickier because the x square is on the bottom, so we will have to look at this right here as integral of negative x to the negative two. Now add one to negative two, we will get negative one, and divide it by the new power. So in fact, we will get positive and then x to the negative one power. X to the negative one power. Well, we are just going to write it as. One over x, right? That's all. Now for number five, same thing. So look at this right here as the integral of negative fifty-seven x to the negative four. Okay, add one to the power here. We will end up with negative three divided by the new power negative three. Work that out. Negative fifty-seven divided by negative three, we should get positive nineteen. And then x to the negative three power, we can write that as one over x to the third power. Or if you would like, you can put them all together, nineteen on the top over x to the third power, and then we all have the plus c at the end. So this is how you do the perhaps the nicest worksheet for integrations in the world. That's it.